ఏ షిఫ్ట్ లో ఉన్నారు ఇప్పుడు మార్కొండ రెడ్డి గారు నైట్ షిఫ్ట్ ఈ వీక్ నెక్స్ట్ వీక్ ఆ నైట్ షిఫ్ట్ ఏ ఏ టైమింగ్స్ నైట్ అండ్ మా 9:30 టు 5:30 ఓ హహహ నైట్ షిఫ్ట్ కు వచ్చేనారా మార్నింగ్ టైం మార్నింగ్ షిఫ్ట్ కు ఇక్కడ ఓకే 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 సో లెట్స్ మూవ్ ఆన్ టు క్లాస్ so last class uh, uh, we discussed right uh, already we seen what is a kubernetes master and uh, what is a kubernetes uh, worker nodes and uh, how to connect uh, master to worker nodes suppose if you want to use lab that is a practice only but real time we won't use that one so we are using uh, so different way and all how to set up and all but working and all are same only so only practice purpose if you want to we can use where is that class link in class okay so if you want to practice so first let come to here here anyone any doubt so this is very very important if you understand uh, what is kubernetes architecture what are the main components in master and what are the main components in worker node so now like this we can configure many worker nodes that is depends on your requirement okay so we can add one worker node or we can add two worker nodes or we can add 10 or 100 whatever you want so this is a master remaining concept is same only so here api server scheduler control manager etcd come to worker node each worker node has these many components number of parts and docker is mandatory and kubelet this is the agent right and kube proxy same every worker node now already last class we discussed right so what is already last class what is we discussed what is kubelet kubelet is nothing but this is the primary node agent it runs on the each node each nodes so it is running each node the main purpose is it is manifest ensure the containers are running or not Kube proxy. This is total networking. Uh, it is taking care. This is the network rules and how these parts are connecting. What is the network? Uh, so those are all taking care by a Kube proxy. Okay. Uh, last class we seen, right? So these are the so network add load balancer services and uh, how it will work. Uh, everything taking care. Now if you go to here, this is and uh, so Kube CTL. This is the command line. This is the kubelet right uh, command line tool and with the help of we can connect your master to worker node and last class just we seen how to set up how to set up uh, kubernet master and also kubernet worker nodes this is the one way for practice purpose or else we can use uh, gke google kubernet engine and uh, so aks amazon this is not uh, so elastic kubernet uh, service uh, and this is the uh, azure kubernet services whatever you want we can use uh, you know write a cube admin what is the purpose and how it will work so these are the these are the some major uh, you know right uh, so components and uh, how it will work and all now this is one way suppose uh, if you don't want to work with that one you can install uh, mini cube also you can install mini cube also today we'll see how to install mini cube and how to install uh, so those and all if anyone connected laptop i will show you already in my mission i set up so again i no need to install and all if anyone want i will show you steps just follow how to set up uh, you know right uh, uh, docker uh, desktop and all and how to install uh, aws cli how to install uh, so that configuration and all anyone connected uh, laptop yes sir i connected okay share your screen i will uh, explain some steps so just follow it so directly we can install windows also right now yesterday i set up uh, this is the lab right this is a lab if you don't have proper network it won't work most of the cases we need to connect with uh, you know right we need to connect with the github account or docker account and uh, we need to set up yesterday we saw so this is one way suppose if you don't have if you want to permanently install just uh, i will show you how to set up share your screen i will stop my screen so we have to follow some steps we have to follow some steps i will tell you just uh, 
Google search. Green one second. It is. Yes, I can see. Okay, sir. Now, so now how to install, uh, so how to install Docker desktop. In our mission already, we have Java and all, right? Everything. Correct? Right? Java. Java is not there, sir, but uh, Docker is. Installed or not? Docker is installed? Uh, Docker is in, 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 uh, in uh, AWS, sir. In AWS, what I install uh, Docker? AWS Docker. So, okay, no, okay. Yeah. now I'm telling uh, Windows, uh, how to set up Windows mission. So okay, we'll see. I'll see how to set up Windows Mission. Okay. Now, so we need to install Minikube, or we can install uh, Docker Hub also. So Minikube and all. Uh, if you want to, we can install Minikube. So if you Google it, uh, so they will give some uh, basic steps. Now better to go to browser, go to browser, go to browser, yeah, and uh, just type. Okay, download Docker Desktop. So download. Docker desktop. It is acting like uh, uh, click on this Docker desktop. Just uh, here uh, select Windows. That's it. Click on that. Uh, Mark on that. Take, take one, one or two bits uh, previous, otherwise it won't work. Hold the rows. Mm -hmm. We'll see. First, uh, how much space we have in C drive, uh, Sudhir? Go to my computer. At least we need uh, 10 to 15 GB. We have, sir. I mean, it's we need that account. How much are you? 70 GB you have, right? Yes, sir. Okay, no problem. And uh, so here, uh, so download uh, older version. If you click means, uh, I think now it is downloaded. Uh, mm, Downloading. Sir. Downloaded. Latest version. Okay, okay, leave it. Now go down. I go Google. Go back one step. Or go down. Scroll it down. Scroll it. Download. Docker desktop 4.19 click down type here download docker desktop 4.19 click on 19 or 18 uh, click on that for windows uh, click on that now download this one uh, first one yes download this one that a higher version uh, go down see this is the 4.24 4.241, 4.240, go down. And uh, so better to download lower version. So I am also okay. installed 19. So better to download okay. 19. Or else uh, there is some compatibility issue and all. We will get it. Go down. Hmm. Down. Ah, this one. Go down. Ah, yes, click on this. That's it. It started. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, that cancel it, this one. Delete it or else you don't want. This is latest version, right? Might yes, be sir. there is some problem. We, there is, we are getting some uh, dependency errors uh, we faced. So that is the reason. All are same only, but sometimes uh, higher, higher uh, version, it is expecting uh, some other dependencies also. We faced some issue. So now just, uh, there is a lot of versions available. See here, 14, uh, go down. We can see lower versions also whatever you want we can download so anyway i also installed a 4.19 so that is the reason now we download 4.18 19 okay so once that is downloaded once that is downloaded now installation is very simple only later we need to install a few more software also we'll see so we need to install uh, so kubelet also for windows we need to install kubelet and we need to install aws cli also we need to install aws cli also so these are the three steps we have to do it. First, uh, first we have to install which one? Docker desktop. This Docker is the desktop. first step. Okay. Second, so second we have to install Kubelet. So by default Kubelet is not available. So we have to install. And uh, third step is uh, so we need to install AWS CLI. Command and interface also. Otherwise it won't. Uh, you want to run. So any commands if you want to run, you need to CLI also. Anyway, download it, right? Go to the downloaded uh, exe file. Downloaded. Download or not? Still downloading. Okay, okay. Just wait. And meantime, uh, open other tabs. Google. Go to Google. Yes, sir. Go to Google. And uh, so, here, uh, just uh, 
install uh, kubectl for windows uh, type install kubectl cube k u b -E. kubectl kubectl for windows uh. mm. click on this okay leave it go down go down uh, that's it now one more tab open it so now this is next AWS CLI for Windows. AWS CLI for one more. We need to install these three AWS CLI for Windows. Click on this first one or second one. All are same only. Uh, click on that. Uh, now click on this. Go down. No, go back. This one, first one, click it. First one, mm. go down, uh, click on Windows. Mm, that's it. Leave it. Okay, we'll see later. Now, come to download folder. Where the download, yes, uh, click on that. Okay, so this is the first step. First, download the Docker desktop. And uh, so it will take uh, so a couple of minutes to installation and all. So it will take time. And uh, so meantime, uh, so we'll uh, install this too also. It is started or not? Yes, it's getting yellow. Yes. I can't see your screen. Okay. Wait, wait. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, so see here, it is extracting. It won't ask any par, uh, path and all. Click on OK. Click on OK. That's it. No need to do anything. By default, it will go to C drive only and it won't ask any a specific path and all. So that is the reason. Uh, so make sure that before installing Docker desktop, at least uh, we need uh, 15 GB, 1.5. Okay. For uh, Docker, for uh, Kubernetes and all, it will take 15 GB. So that is the reason. Uh, it will take uh, some time, a uh, couple of minutes. Uh, it is see unpacking file files and all. No need to do anything. That's it. Once uh, okay. this Docker desktop is installed, we need to enable that service and all. Okay. This is very simple only. This is only one time. Every day, no need to do every day. So, but yesterday I shown right. So that is a practice purpose. If you want to open, if you want to open, that is lab dot uh, ks, and we can practice. We can close it. But uh, in that case we make sure that we have proper internet otherwise it won't work anything okay it is hanging but this is we are installing permanently in our local machine anytime we can work no problem now got it sridhar garo hello yeah yeah, yeah. got it so got it. permanently we can install in our mission so no need any okay. aws account and all so some cases uh, anyway i'm going aws but uh, almost uh, so we can practice here okay we can practice here but uh, if you we need a high configuration if you older laptop means we cannot set up this all these things uh, so your uh, laptop performance goes down but if you have high configuration so everything working fine we can happily work with all these things no problem so this is the first step so i will share this and all i will share these steps and all if you want to, we can copy and paste it. That's it. This is very simple. So see here, first uh, install the Docker desktop software. So this is a step one. Uh, I am sending uh, so install Docker desktop software. First step in message I am sending on call message I am sending. That is the first step. Next. Uh, Two more commands I am sending. Install kubectl uh, for Windows. Just copy and paste also. So there I am copying paste. Just execute same thing. Okay. Okay. okay just okay. copy and paste somewhere. Okay. <coughs> Google also same thing only. But instead of see here this one. Copy this all and keep in note pattern. <coughs> Go to in call message, copy all this. Yes, keep in notepad. 
now just we are executing or else uh, already we've opened uh, uh, you know right uh, tapped also both are same only but yesterday i copy and paste same commands okay that's it now go to the desktop okay now see here close and restart it click on it click on it okay Close and restart. You clicked or not? Is it? Hello? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? for restart. No, no, already restarting started. That's why we are getting the screen. Okay, so meantime, uh, so copy second command. Install, uh, so kubectl for Windows. Copy that one. Sudhir. He is not available. But I am trying, trying to restart. Okay, okay. That's, now you check it. It will take one or two minutes. Yes, okay, 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 wait, wait. Meantime, I will show you. Let me Hello. Yes, yes. Sir. Lab. Yeah, yeah. Share your screen. No, sir. Lab is doing restart, sir. I was in mobile, sir. Mobile. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, in one minute is doing. Okay. Ninety-three percent is done. Okay, okay. No problem. Hmm. Click on next. Select next. Next. Restart. So what you need to do, once a Docker desktop is installed, next you need to copy curl command, right? Copy and paste it curl command. Next third command, uh, this command, MSI, EXE, uh, this command. That's it. Anyone, any doubt here? Clear, Srinagar? First Docker desktop. Next only two commands. One is yeah. CLI, one is uh, CLI. <laughs> Same command. CLI admin lo lagni. Yeah. Kubelet. Kubelet and CLI. Ah, admin yeah. mode runjain. So most okay. of the cases are admin mode. Okay. Okay. That's it. Only three steps. Sir. First step is install Docker desktop. Second, uh, copy and paste that. Or you can Google it. How to install Kubelet in uh, Windows? They are giving one command. Copy and paste. And this is the AWS CLI. Finish it. That's it. Your setup is ready. Close. Close this window also. Okay, minimize notepad and see here. This is the Docker desktop, right? Now go to right side top. There is a gear symbol, is there, right? Uh, click on settings. The next, next, next. Uh, click on that and go to select Kubernetes left side and see here bottom left side. Docker already green. Bottom left side, bottom there is one symbol, is the Docker symbol. Go down, down, key here, here. Uh, little bit. Uh, that is running. Docker is running. Now select uh, Kubernetes and enable Kubernetes. Uh, yes, select it and uh, apply restart. That's it. Yes, sir. Mm. That's it. Leave it. So that's it. Now, uh, so we have to wait. Now already Docker. See left side bottom. We can see Docker is green, right? Green is meter yes, that is running. Docker engine is running. So this is the Kubernetes engine is started. The starting. It will take one or two minutes. Just wait. That's it. Okay. Uh, okay, Sudhir. Let me share my screen. Stop it. That's the setup is ready. Now stop your okay. screen. I will show you how it will work. So that's it. Now, so once setup is ready.
so can you see my screen yes sir okay so now already docker desktop already installed same steps i executed uh, same steps in my machine also now see here so this is the starting docker engine docker engine is uh, underlying technology that runs containers okay so let me start my docker engine by default uh, so first time uh, docker engine is running we have to enable only kubernetes engine so now see here how to enable go to settings go to settings select a kubernetes and see here it is starting my mission so already this is the docker docker engine is running this is the kts it is starting it is starting okay it will take time and that's it once this is also running now we can happily work with uh, so you can practice your kts uh, all uh, in our right uh, so that manifest files we can create let me take time now so now if you come to here now we you know right uh, so what is you know what is master and what is this is ready everything ready setup is ready now i want to create one sample object so yesterday we seen right uh, so how to create uh, how to create what is the pod and uh, so inside pod uh, how many containers uh, we can create single container or we can create multi containers also correct so now we'll see here uh, so i will show you so already you know what is pod and all last class we discussed now i am going to create one pod object see here pod always run on node machine only now what is pod pod is nothing but this is the smallest building block or basic unit of scheduling in kubernetes this is the pod is nothing but smallest building block or basic unit of scheduling the kubernetes in kubernetes cluster pod represents running process so suppose if we create any container so where this container is running guys inside pod only inside pod only so in docker directly we are creating pod manually correct sorry uh, container but here we are going to create pod so under this pod container is running so now if you go here inside pod we have one or more containers if you want to we can create single container pod or if you want to we can create multi container pod also multi containers pod so now pod is a group of one or more containers and which will be run on the same node or some nodes so these are the some basic basic overview of pod and how it will work and each pod has unique ip address within the cluster you know right each pod has unique ip address last class also i'll shown already i shown uh, each pod has one unique ip address and within this pod all containers sharing unique network ip and also pod has some storage and also pod has some network whatever pod has as, uh, have that everything it is used by containers that's it so now if you want to create any pod how to create pod so now see here now let me see here now it is done right now close it now it is done minimize it minimize it now i am coming to open command prompt okay cmd command prompt and uh, see how to check by parts and all how to check all uh, nodes and all yesterday i have given one command right i want to see my all cluster information kubectl how many nodes and all kubectl get nodes right see here right now i have only control panel this is the master and it is acting like this is acting this is a master this is a mini cube this is acting like a master and it is acting like node also okay now how to see parts do we have any parts or do we have any service script ctl get parts see here i don't have any parts right now i don't have any parts now if you want to create pod if you want to create any if you want to create any manifest file that is configuration file and uh, so there is many objects uh, there is many objects available here kubernet if you come to here so these are the main resources main objects now these are the main objects so these are the main objects so already in this document already we noted if you want to we can go through it here somewhere i don't know where somewhere we written what are those so these are the many 
where we written quad on the ah, see here there is a basic uh, cubonet objects so these are the sum of basic cubonet objects now see here <laughs> cubonet objects are persistent entities in cubonet system cubonet uses these entities to represent the state of your cluster so now there is a lot of objects available in cubonets so these are the some basic objects so mostly we are using these objects only see here cubonet object is the record of intent once you create the object the cubonet system will constantly work to ensure that object is existing if we create any one object cubonet object so we can keep on you can work with that object up to that object is existing if we delete that object we cannot work we cannot use and to work with cubonet objects whether to create modify or delete them you will need to use cubonet api okay. when you use kubectl command line interface for example cli makes necessary kubernetes api calls for you so by default it is connecting kubernetes api you don't worry and uh, so these are the some of basic kubernetes objects the pod replication controller replica set daemon set deployment object service object and uh, service there is a different types of service available cluster ip node port load balancer and uh, so external name and this is the volume that is a pv pvc job so these are the some of basic kubernetes objects even if you type in google we will get many objects kubernetes kubernetes objects okay so if you type kubernetes of this is the official website guys if you have any doubt if you want to know more on this just click on mostly go for a kubernetes objects only now see here kubernetes objects what are those objects and uh, so how it will work so now they are creating directly i want to list this is the labels and kubernetes components so these are the main component api server etcd and uh, what is the scheduler and these are the already i explained you don't worry already you know right some idea now go back kubernetes what are the objects in kubernetes so i want to list resources now see here so there is a 11 type of objects in kubernet mostly we are using see here pod first is pod pods are the fundamental building block of your kubernet system so all containers running inside the pod only so interval also most of the people asked so what is pod just remember only one line so just remember only one line so what is pod guys pods are the fundamental building block of so whatever you want we can know. so what are the objects used in kubernetes and if you want to we can know so this is the different many people they are giving different different answers just uh, remember only Marconda, answer. in the uh, diagram is there in the diagram click once that uh, middle 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 not that one. this uh, one that is the different resource this one uh. yeah uh, yeah that one Excellent. continues to this site okay now these are the nodes services secrets resources uh, here there is parts parts are the smallest unit of deployment in kubernetes so same whatever architecture we know same thing just i am showing how many types of uh, see deployment uh, this is the basic uh, objects in deployment object replication controller object replica set object demand set object and uh, so stateful set object config map object and uh, see here stateful sets so there is many so anyway next 10 days we are going to discuss all these things so all these things so this is the so mostly interview they are asking what is part mostly interview they are asking what is part so just remember one line so kubernetes parts are the smallest unit of deployment in kubernetes 
so they reside on cluster nodes and they have their own IP addresses and enabling them to communicate with the rest of the clusters the single pod can host one or more containers so maybe we can create single container pod or we can create multi container pod also <coughs> clear guys now these are the basic uh, see here basic kubernetes objects so pod deployment and replica set stateful set daemon sets next pv pvc service object namespace object so namespace object there is apart from this there is many objects also available so mostly we are using these objects only so mostly we are using also these objects only clear so there see that clear anyway we'll yes, see sir. one by one coming yeah, classes clear. now first we'll see now we know some idea what is pod and uh, what is pod and pod has in ip address inside pod we can create multiple containers if you want to we can single container or if you want to we can create multi containers also multi containers also now so first i will show you so how to create a so pod object so how to create pod object so there is a syntax we need you know right already in jenkins we are using a one scripting language what scripting dsl right domain specific language we are using groovy right same way in kubernetes in ansible if you want to implement if you want to implement there we are following mostly one pattern so here there is a yaml so this is also one language what is yaml so this is the one language mostly human readable data serialization language this is the this is very simple language and also if anyone know you know right xml they can easily understand so even if you don't know this is very simple so if you want to know more uh, just uh, go through this what is yml human readable data serialization it is commonly used for configuration files and it in application where data is being stored and transmitted so mostly in kubernetes in ansible we are using one language this is a yaml you know right self scripting so that is also scripting language right in linux if you want to uh, self scripting if you want to write any file we are using some uh, ss file same way the extension should be yaml don't confuse here in document we are using uh, so dot devos right file name dot so how we are saving uh, how we are save this file right so how we are save this for example i am excel file this is the file name for example test dot you know right uh, so test dot txt this is a which file text file right and the same way if you want to so save other format devos this is the document file in shell script and all mostly the extension we are using one file what is the extension shell scripting we are using extension yes sir ss file yes sir and same way there is a one language in uh, so if you want to write any manifest any if you want to write any configuration file in uh, kubernet or if you want to write any configuration files in ansible we are using uh, so extension should be yaml or we can use yml both are same only it is accepted okay extension should be yaml or yml we can give okay so this is the one language this is a very simple language human readable language and uh, so if you want to know just to go through any website see here yml is a human readable data serialization language that is often used for writing configuration files so why you go for yml so this all are the configuration files now i am going to write some configuration files in kubernetes so generally in jenkins and all we are using groovy and uh, so here mostly we are following yml so this is the some syntax also yml is popular programming language because it is designed to easy to read and we can easily understand this is very simple language we can easily understand and also we can easily write but we need to follow some syntax and all so that is that's it now see here so now this is a comment this is a comment line this is a comment line they given one item name food so in this food so what type of foods guys vegetable vegetables food or fruits or see here like this we are following some you know right anyone know json json format json this is also json format same like if you want to json so we are using some pattern see how it will work and all 
see here values there's an element this is the values object arrays uh, how can i say if anyone know we can easily understand mm. now see here i want to pass some information i want to pass my information see name equal to john age equal to 30 and uh, see this is a null so this is the key and this is the value this is the key and this is the value it is defined in an object three properties here three properties name is the one property age is the one property car also is the one property so here name colon john age colon 30 car colon null i don't have so this is the json format this is the json format same way yml also we are following one format but you need to remember the syntax and all this is very simple only this is very simple only so first try to how it will work see here so here note the structure of yml file is the map or list you know right map or list so if you want to store multiple values we go for list our map is nothing but key and value pairs key and value pair so see here this is a key this is a value 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 so like this we can pass so like this we can pass this is the syntax for example uh, name equal to i given something this is a one property age age equal to one property hobbies hobbies means more than one property right hobbies is the one property under this are the sub see here so what are the hobbies we can pass it programming language this is the one property under what programming language you know we can write like this next favorite food so vegetable this is the under fruits what this is the problem so like this uh, we can write this is very simple only don't panic we can easily understand anyway slowly we can so this and all no need to remember already nowadays uh, all ideas available so if you want to write uh, if you know syntax very well we can write manually if you know syntax and all very right we can write manually suppose if you don't know we are in initial phase or we can use or we can use uh, this is the ids also available that is eclipse or uh, this is the visual studio code this is also free only just to go to google just to type uh, visual studio code software for windows it will download once you install uh, so once you install uh, so this is the this is the editor this is the editor this is the editor you know write notepad plus plus whatever you want we can write in notepad also correct why you go for notepad why you go for notepad right so this is the editor right this is a notepad plus plus you know notepad this yes, is also sir. one editor older days mostly we are using notepad or notepad plus plus so nowadays there is many ideas available in market and whatever you want we can install that is depends on your requirement that that is not mandatory so that is your requirement so in older days if you want to edit anything mostly they are using notepad only mostly they are using notepad this is a notepad we don't have many features here see here only we can see file edit view and all so later they introduced notepad plus plus see here many options available many options extra features and we can copy cut and also look and feel also very good to see here alignment also we can see so there is some features and the same way so instead of plus using notepad plus so there is many ideas available right now i am using which id see here visual studio now i am using visual studio if you click on visual studio so this is the editor this is the editor this is the editor whatever you want we can use it this is the editor now these are the file editor these are the menus whatever you want so there is some plugins available here extensions first we need to install that plugin i will show you next class so anyway i am clicking on just i am uh, new file i am giving one file name for example test dot yml or yml we can give any name yml or yml just give any name so and save somewhere wherever you want we can save it so i am saving mm, uh, mostly i am saving a desktop uh, for documents i given some name double quotation so test dot yml i given some name this is my saved path workspace path whatever you want we can give now see here this is a yml extension suppose if you want to create txt file we are using a file new file we are using a, so file name text file now if you go here already i installed plugin and all cubonet i will show you 
so now if you type so pod if you type pod means it is auto generated see here already install plugin so if you click on pod kubernetes pod this entire structure automatically given by this id see what is the syntax see here api version and see here what is the kind what is the metadata what is the name label and it will give some pattern this is the syntax in interval so most of the people they are asking uh, so can you write uh, any one your deployment object and pod manifest file this is the configuration file manifest file configuration file both are same okay this is some basic syntax even if you come to here if you go here now here this is a pod right api version v1 api version v1 kind equal to what type of object you want to use whether we can use pod object or deployment object or uh, so uh, name uh, that is namespace or uh, uh, replications uh, replica set controller daemon set this is the type kind is nothing but uh, which kubernet object you want to work with which kubernet object you want to create this is a metadata metadata is nothing but uh, you know right uh, you want to give some name see here metadata name equal to we can give any name and labels we are giving some name for this object we are giving some name and this is a spec this is a spec this is a container container part guys this is a container specification so this is a container information so see here containers containers and a name equal to hyphen name we can give any name image equal to you know right already in docker we created one image that image i am going to create here i am going to create here i am going to give here resources this is not mandatory leave it we will see later so this is the resource tag we will see later and this is the port this is the port so now see here ports and container port so this is some basic example how to create even if you don't know anything go to google go to google and also kubernetes kubernetes pod example example if you type they will give entire syntax and all just no need to remember just copy and paste and whatever you want you update it now see observe here this is the pod so here you know right api version v1 kind equal to pod i am going to create also pod object and metadata we can give any name here nginx specification now copy this one you don't know anything right so if you know we can write manually also but mostly we need to follow this syntax see here these are in one and this is a metadata we need to give some space spec spec is parallel to metadata and containers under containers iphone name container name nginx and image name i am using nginx image and ports container port so what is the default port number nginx 80 tomcat server 8080 jenkins server 8080 uh, nexus server you know right that is 8081 same sonar cube 9300 you know right some port numbers clear so there clear now i am copying this one yeah, clear, see yeah. here now go to here go to here this is the prompt right just use va space notepad or this is not a linux right notepad click on notepad now it is this is a notepad just already copied right paste it now paste it this is the api version and kind equal to pod just remember this is a basic only we will see coming classes more on this this is syntax kind we can give pod or we can give deployment or we can give namespace or secret config and uh, so uh, demand set and stateful set so we can give anything whatever this is a name metadata so metadata means name this is a key this is a value metadata naming what name you want i give an nginx this is a specification spec is nothing but specification this container information containers what is the container name iphone name nginx i give one container name nginx and image equal to we give an image whatever image you want we can pass it here and ports iphone container port what is the container port guys nginx container port default 8080 sorry 80 now i copy and paste it don't do anything just copy save save and uh, so wherever you want we can save it now i'm using uh, hp right now go to here i'm saving same path uh, where is this i'm all i'm saving c colon 
and uh, so C drive users HP under HP I am going to create a Kubernetes so here I am saving so this is the double quotation test test iPhone pod dot YML or YAML double quotation and that's it so what is the file name test iPhone pod whatever name you can give it a test pod okay test pod dot yml or yaml single code that is double quotation that save it now file was saved close it okay now check it here uh, how to check guys in linux ls command right this is the windows right dar dr means it display all files and directories i saved where kubernetes directory this is the one directory already available so first let me go to the directory cd space kubernetes Where is this Kubernetes? Okay. Now clear the screen. TLS and DAR. Now see here, one file is available or not? So one file is available or not? Now how to run this file? How to run this file? So if you want to run this file, so this is the command. So this is the command. So this is the command. Mm, MS Paint. This is the command. So what is this command? So this is a command. If you want to run, this is a command, guys. kubectl, 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 apply, iphone, f, file name. What is the file name? Test pod dot yml. Yeah. That's it. This is the syntax. If you want to run this file, if you want to run config, Kubernetes configuration file, Kubernetes manifest file, this is the syntax. kubectl, apply, kubectl, apply, or create also is there we'll see later just i'm giving apply iphone f what is iphone f file file name. and file name that's it now see here i'm going to run before run let me check how many parts i have do we have any parts kubectl get nodes so this is the only one node and kubectl get kubectl can you see my screen let us handle or i can increase Yes, properties and a font and i am giving 24 click on okay that's it <laughs> okay so now see here tls and how to check notes and all kubectl get notes these are the commands now kubectl get parts this is the part is one resource right right now i don't have any parts now already i created one manifest file configuration file how to run that file Tell me command cube ctl apply iphone f what is the file name test test pod dot yml yml now see here pod created see here pod what is your pod name nginx created how to check parts guys cube ctl get parts now see here one part is running or not now see here this is the name and this is the ready state one by one and status is running restart so did you restart any part no and age age is nothing but also when you created just 30 seconds ago now if you run same command see 34 seconds ago now if you run see here 38 seconds ago this is the age timing when we created this part I hope you got it right so anyone any doubt this is the see here api version so v1 there is many versions available i will explain later first remember api version default v1 and kind equal to pod which object you want to create a pod only or we can use deployment or we can use replica set next metadata metadata is nothing but uh, so i want to give some name for this pod so this is a name i given nginx what name I given guys? See here pod name. NG INX. Next, this is the spec. Spec is nothing but specification. Container information. So see here spec, containers, and iPhone name. What is the container name? NGNX. And what is the image? This is the image. This image coming from where? Anyone guess it? You know, right? Docker. So Docker Hub. Okay. Suppose if you want to use your own image, we can pass here. This is the Docker image only. 
whichever image you created as of now i used default image i used next class i am going to use my own image already i have many images in my docker hub see here hub.docker.com i hope everyone have credentials and all every already we have some account right so go to login to your docker hub next class i am going to use my own image i don't want to use nginx i am going to use my own image okay now here i have many images i have here see here these are my own images already docker i created i uploaded to hub.docker.com coming classes i am going to use these images so right now i used nginx image right now i used which image nginx image default image i used and so coming classes i am going now ports this is the one property and container port so this is the 80 nginx default port number 80 so like this if you want to we can create like this if you want to we can create any part object we can use this is the syntax so this is the syntax so anyone any doubt here so what is api version this is the default and there is many api versions available already we've seen right now if you go here also so see here these are the so these are the api versions v1 see here api version so if you go to here parts what is the parts api version v1 i am not giving anything this is the uh, kubernetes people they given this is the syntax we need to understand this is the kind kind equal to part for example secrets what is the api version v1 what is the api version v1 services what is the api version v1 service object what is the nodes there is no and api version v1 this is the false namespace and all and endpoint this is the v1 almost so some some cases it will change api versions also I will show you so how to get see that resources there is a one command i forgot that one kubectl get resources Cube C get resources. Uh, syntax I missed. No, I need to check. Resource spelling mistake. Resource? Resource spelling mistake. V S O S O U R C S, right? Yes, sir. I think I forgot that command resource. No. Sorry, the command all resources and cube CTR. Okay. Um, how to or Google it? How to display resources? Cube CTL get resources. We'll see what is this command somewhere maybe a typo mistake resources there is one command is that we can see all resources i don't know i forgot that manifest creating i will show you somewhere we can see get services okay I, this is already we know i don't want mm, pod show label get label no problem i will show you mm, patching resources I clicked. Uh, I forgot that one. Okay. Okay. See this like this. Uh, all versions and all. So, yep, sorry, API resource already they given here. API resources, not get resources, API resources. Already command they given. API hyphen resources. Now got it? Hmm? I given wrong syntax. Get not uh, get resources, API resources. Now this is a command guys skip ctl api hyphen resources now we can see all name and these are the objects so now pod parts what is the api version v1 see here v1 and object name pod so like this if you want to we can check it so like this if you want to we can check it for example uh, i want to see a replica deployment object see here deployment object what is the api version app class v1 now got it this is a deployment object daemon set for daemon set what is the api version app slash v1 this is the daemon set object now if you see here 
now service what is the service object ap version v1 this is the service object now clear guys now got it or not yes so these are the syntax we need to follow same for endpoints nodes there is nothing persistent values what is the ap version v1 this is a persistent value pod mostly we are using pods secrets deployment objects <laughs> daemon set replica set stateful set whatever you want we can use it so this is the syntax this is the syntax what is this cube ctl api iphone resource r e s o u r c okay this is the syntax clear guys anyway next class i will show you so how to now just now i created pod so if you want to see pods if you want to see what is the command cube ctl get pods cube ctl get pods i hope you got it right okay suppose uh, if you want to delete i will show you next class also but we are not going to use real time cube ctl cube ctl delete all iphone iphone all i am going to delete all resources so now see here i deleted all resources i am going to delete all resources now if you see this command cube ctl get pods can you see pod now pod is available or not not available not out because i deleted i deleted right yes. see here cube ctl delete yes, all resources i deleted all resources okay that's it now exit that's it daily we can work uh, open with uh, same docker desktop and we can happily work with now no need to connect any cloud and all no need to do anything i hope you got it right so anyone any doubt so if you don't want just see here this is also running this is also running just to close it automatically it will stop the services and all automatically it will stop the services the kubernetes service and all 